We are at the Santa Ana property on Quadra Island and we just hiked into the woods a couple hundred meters from the road. We have massive magnetite a few hundred meters that way in uh, several showings and we found the contact of scarn and limestone, also Nisic rock, granodiorite, and we're 300 meters away from that along this outcrop here. This way, 1.8 kilometers, we have the lowest showing that we've found. That is right below the Santana mine at it number one. And what we've found so far on the first outcrop is it's magnetic. So we are going to follow this area and see what else we can find. Looks like there's some magnetite in here. You can see some magnetite bands in the granitic rocks. So let's get to hiking. Didn't think this was going to be that easy. Finding massive magnetite all over the place. There is magnetite all over here. You can see it. All the banding cutting through. Very interesting. You can see all the iron staining on a lot of this rock here. You can see all these bands of magnetite here. This is a piece I just pulled off of right here. See the chunks of magnetite all throughout that. And then here's some more, which is a little more magnetite rich. And then this rock is sandwiched in between here. It almost looks like a dike running across. You have mineralization here, no mineralization in the middle, and banded mineralization on the bottom. This outcrop is 100 meters wide. J2 is up there. And we are about 350, 400 meters away from the first area that we found the other day by the road. See all this area in here is all massive magnetite. Same within here. You can see cutting through this, you have a band of magnetite going up, branching off several ways. It's all over the base of this area here. And you have it all in there. Bands all down in here. So this is a 100 meter wide outcrop, 30 meters tall, and everywhere we look, we find magnetite. So last sample we took was about 75 meters that way. Still on your magnetite. Very interesting looking. So that last sample we showed is from down on the other side of this outcrop. Coming over here, finding lots of float. So this is the same scarnified rock that you see 
near all the workings. You can see it's pyrotized a little bit in here. And we're finding this float all over this side here. So, take a look at this. It is not magnetic, but it looks like it's got magnetite in it. There's some actinolite. And right beside this, where I hammered this off, you have scarn with minor amounts of disseminated pyrite. Farther along the area, more magnetite. There's scarn float all along here as well. But the scarn is relatively unmineralized other than the occasional bit of disseminated pyrite. So this outcrop here that follows the road where I'm on, this is an old road. And all this outcrop on that side, from what we're seeing, is all your magnetite rich rocks. You have scarn float all in this road and slightly onto the bank there. There's a little bit of disseminated pyrite mineralization in it, but so far we haven't found anything other than that. On the other side of the road, this outcrop here is your granitic rock. So it looks like possibly scarred in the center here, your magnetite rich rock granitic rock on this side. The terrain is relatively flat in this area now. We are 100 meters past that last sample. We have found some bedrock exposed here. And these are the samples out of bedrock. Disseminated pyrite, some magnetite. Couple more pieces here of bedrock. Nice amount of pyrite in these ones. Lots of samples that have fallen off this. And you can see, look at this. Massive magnetite. Very interesting. We are finding it everywhere on this part of the claim. Here's a piece of that sample broken open. You have another boulder here with magnetite. Lots of magnetite rich boulders here. More oak crop on the side of the road. See those little pieces in there? The black is magnetite from the oak crop here. So we're walking back on the main road and headed back to the vehicle. This is the main road. This is Serge Narrows Road. And we're right close to the road, right where we came out. And we're looking at outcrops up here and we're looking at float and we're finding more of your magnetite rich float. So 
it looks like you have this in an area about 200 meters wide at minimum and it's from the road going over 200 meters that way and then it goes all the way back to where you park the truck about a kilometer away so very interesting 